My name is Harvey Goldrick. I'm 10 years old and I was born in 2009. To be honest with you, we were happy with having one child, but Tracy wanted to have another one. And uh, he's been nothing but trouble ever since. <laughs> he goes to the pub a lot and drinks. And he's good at cooking. He just needs a little bit more practice. Barney was always so easy going. And, and Harvey came along and he never stops, do you, Harvey? <laughs> I like football and I'm good at it. He knows where the net is, something that I never knew. He was a good footballer, but then he got an injury, but he's still good. The first week at school, Harvey had met the headmaster twice. So that just says everything about Harvey, really. <laughs> Usually my friends whisper to me in class and then I look back and then speak to them and then I'll get in trouble and they won't. But he's a lovely kid, very charismatic. He's a good parent. One of the best dads I've ever had. Um, he was, I think he was three years old when um, Tracy found out she had myeloma, which was very upsetting. Funny how I remember when she was first told, she went to the doctors and the doctor said, oh, we're going to test you for myeloma because we've tra tested you for everything, but it's very unlikely. And uh, I said to her, don't Google it. Whatever you do, don't Google it. So what did she do? She picked up the phone, Googled it, and she was outside with Harvey. I think she, she just collapsed on, in the doctor's car park. From there, they, we just went to Stepping Hill and um, they, 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 all the family over there, there was about 15 of us. And um, the doctor was going round in circles and I remember saying to him, has she got myeloma or not? And he said, yes, yeah, she has. The doctor said the, the likelihood is two to three years. So that was devastating. But she lived seven years because she had the really good hospital. Tracy was a great mum. She, she just did everything. I mean, Harvey's just know, always known his mum as being ill, but you just never know that she was dying. Just the way she was, she was just, she just cracked on my life, you know? She never wasn't smiling. She was always smiling. Whenever I felt down, she'd hug me and we'd all feel better. She's just always smiling. Even on that night before when the doctor came round, she was still laughing and joking, you know? All I really cared about was how much she had left. When she said she only had a few weeks, I started crying. I, rem I remember when uh, Tracy had been told that um, she, she had only had a few weeks to live. And we were all lying on the bed and uh, she told them, the boys, and um, just give me a minute. Well, basically, the night before she died, she, um, we had family round and she was laughing, smiling, like she always is. Yeah, she told them and she was so honest with them. And uh, it must have broke her heart. Mm. But I do think it did them good knowing the truth. When I said goodbye, we basically got a hospital bed in, our, um, in one of the rooms in our house and she slept in there for one night and then she died. Some occasions I get sad um, and then I think about it and then I just think of, I just think of her and it makes me feel better. If I picture her sad, it'd make me sad. I can't remember any times where she wasn't smiling. I held her hand and she let go. The world went and made us soul. A picture that burns when you hold it. And now I'm thinking... Some days it's very difficult to want to do anything. Um, and I think that's a natural thing to grieve. I think having children is, is a massive uh, boost in a way. You've got to be as positive as possible. I felt very down about it, but when I came to Beechwood, I 
became happier. If I asked a question, they, they'd answer it perfectly. It's a, it's a strange thing to, um, because you never think you're going to be in that position yourself. I was a bit sceptical, you know, but it's, it's not a bloke thing to do. It's nice to know that there's people here that will listen to you. I think if anybody need, is in, in the position that we were in and are in, um, get on the phone, ring Beechwood because they're, they're fantastic. Beechwood could change lives in a good way because they help people who have lost a family member or a friend. Um, if you could give money, I'd be very thankful. It was, they're just brilliant.